Hey AstroKids and welcome back. We are in a brand new season now. We have shifted into Aquarius season and so this is a time to shift in our perspective, in our consciousness. We are moving into a space of being more spontaneous, being more open-minded, more in seeking of how we can advance ourselves and go further. And so there's a shift in forward thinking, forward movement of how we can elevate to the next level, how we can push forward into the future. Now, this is your daily terrorscope for January 21st, 2020. So starting off, we have the Seven of Cups, where there is an internal choice for all of you within yourself about where you are headed, where you are going. It is time to start planning ahead. It is time to start looking at how can you be successful long term? What are the decisions? What are the steps that need to be taken now in order to progress further? And this shift in our way of thinking, our way of perceiving started with Mercury entering Aquarius. And so with this new energy of Mercury in Aquarius, and now the sun shifted into Aquarius as well, there is this shift in their way of thinking and behaving that is geared towards how can we be access successful in the future, right? Because Aquarius rules the 11th house, which is our wishes and dreams fulfilled. And so there's something big here about not how can we be successful right now in the short term, but how can we take the steps to set up a long-term successful relationship, successful career, successful life. So big questions about what are the choices and the steps that need to be taken in order for you to be successful long-term in your life. And to have that ultimate joy and happiness within that does serve you and benefit in your life. And so it is time to fully express yourself. It's time to live. It's time to have fun, to do what is of the highest, greatest good to you, what brings you the joy and the happiness within. And so for those of you, if your job does not bring you happiness, if your relationship does not bring you happiness, if your life doesn't bring you happiness, again, this is where the Seven of Cups is asking for you to make a choice, a decision that ultimately gets you to this happiness, to this joy, that is overflowing into your life. And this is a big moment where many of you are rejecting this offering to look ahead, to go forward, to take these steps into your long-term success, into how you can go further in your life. And there is something big about how this Saturn-Pluto conjunction that we've come off of is starting a brand new cycle that is focused on your position in life, that is focused on career, that is focused on government and belief systems. And so there is something big here about taking the steps to get to your success and how you yourself control this destiny, this outcome. And so for those of you who are rejecting this offering from the universe to move forward, to progress, to have this beautiful, successful life where you are succeeding long-term. This is setting up a situation of holding on to the past, holding on to these feelings and these experiences that no longer serve you. And so this is a big moment of change for many of you in your lives. As we've gone through this whole eclipse season, and through this Mercury retrograde in Scorpio, that has taught us a lot. And coming out of the Uranus retrograde, that it has taught us a lot about how to go through the transformation, go through the changes that are necessary for us to have our best lives, for us to climb for something more successful and greater in our lives. 
And so there is something big here about how, for those of you who are holding back out of fear, this is sort of the last stop for you, right? This eclipse season that brought us into 2020 was definitely a call for action with this solar eclipse conjunct Jupiter that was in a Capricorn, that it was asking you to do the work, for you to do what's necessary, for you to have the joy, to have the abundance, to have everything that you deserve and everything that you desire in your life. And so what is it that you can do now to set up long-term success in your life? This is a big question that is coming through from the universe about this long-term success. And so it is time to start thinking future, start thinking about the practical steps that need to be taken, start thinking about how you want your life to look like and what needs to happen to make that happen. Because again, with the Six of Swords in reverse, many of you rejecting this journey to your overall happiness, remember that after the Six of Swords, it's the Seven of Swords, where we come into the space of harmony and happiness in our lives. And so there is something big here about those of you who are rejecting this opportunity, this journey, to move into a more harmonious space a more peaceful space that is for you, that does serve you to the highest degree in your life. And so it is time for you to move ahead and to make the choices. There is something big here about making steps now that affect your future, that affect how the outcome looks. And so there is a lot here in terms of planning, and setting up a strategy, setting up a plan of how you want to execute your goals and what do you want your future to look like. Start writing it down. Start coming up with a plan. Start conquering little steps and little goals in your life that set you up for a long-term future of ultimate success and joy in your life. So that is your daily teroscope for January 21st, 2020. Again, if you are Aquarius, happy birthday. Finally, Aquarius season where we are in a space of looking ahead, looking at what we can manifest and bring to fruition into our lives. So this is a beautiful time. I hope you all have a great day. If you are new to this channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a thumbs up as well as a comment. And I will see you all in the next video.